Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Sunday, the 17th of November, and it is a very special day here on One Man and His Boat. Today is the birthday of our old vessel, the Rock Hopper of Percule. Now, today she'll be 45, so happy birthday, Rock Hopper. And I must say, we wouldn't be where we are today without that vessel. So I hope you're happy in your new home, Hen. Because you're fair missed here, I know that for sure. So, let's get on with today's show guys. Episode 27 coming right up for you. So guys, what do we want to accomplish in this episode? I want to get, stop getting sidetracked, that's what I want to do. <laughs> Every time I tell you, oh we're going to do this in this video, I'm away doing another freaking job. <laughs> so this time, what we're going to do is we're just going to play it by ear and see what jobs come up. Uh, I do think I'll be concentrating on the back end once again, but you never know, I might get sidetracked once, once more. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I have three pieces of wood here for the, the back end here. This one is for my new LED light, so we've got light in the back cupboard. And these two are for my on-off switch for the rudder for the emergency tiller. So I think we'll get them fitted this morning. So boys and girls, that's the emergency tiller shuttle valve uh, fitted. So what we're going to go on to now is the wee cabin light at the back because there's no point having a dark and dismal hole and just relying on daylight because you've got winter time and everything. So my idea is, is actually to put a cabin light in each locker 
and I'm going to put two lights in where the engine bay is so if it is winter time and there's problems I can see what I'm doing to actually deal with the problem which is always a plus so what the light I've went for is a lab craft and before I start this is not a paid advertisement ok guys <laughs> this is uh, from ASAP and basically it's a uh, obviously an LED light and it's waterproof up to IP67 and you can date between 10 and 20, uh, 32 volts so 12 volt system no bother at all and look at the size of the lights they're tiny can you see them alright absolutely tiny now the one thing I'll say about Labcraft is very really is great construction I mean there's a metal plate at the back here and everything seems sealed really well However, we've got a problem with hiding the wire. As you can see, and there's no, there doesn't seem to be any parts at the back here where you can actually feed the wire through. So I've had the back off, off camera, and I've had a wee look to see if I can um, make it my own, shall we say. But there's no possible way. So what I'm going to have to do is actually screw it down with a couple of washers behind it so there's enough space for the wire so it, it goes over like that so you're not straining the wire too much. So that's what we're going to do next. So crew, it's official. I'm a numpty. <laughs> yes, after thinking about it, you've got to forgive me, it's Sunday morning after all. Uh, and I've not had my cappuccino yet, so... Um, after thinking about it, what I've done has actually had a wee brainwave and I've drilled right through the block and I've made a wee channel for the wire that way the wire's no under strain everything's all nice and flush and I'm able to get it on nice hey there you go that's what happens when you think about a job instead of just doing a job aye uh, ok 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 it's nothing new I'm an idiot there we go <laughs> right next job So boys and girls, now that we've got um, our light in, we see it down here, our light's now in, I've actually got some hooks here for electrical conduit, we just need to wire up this, now I'm going to go through a couple of bits and bobs that I've got for the back end here, which we're going to go into next if I stop killing myself on all these wires, <laughs> anyway, here we go. Now, throughout um, Lindsay B, what I'm uh, using is basically 2.5mm uh, tinned wire. Now, you can get that for SAP as well. That was my usual stock for them. Um, thinking, but these are not cheap. I mean, there's only, I think it's 30 metres there. And that was nearly 80 quid. And so, the tin stuff's not cheap. But, I'm only going to date once, so I might as well date with the right gear. Um, we also have 
weatherproof junction box, I think you can get 10 and this is going in at the back end as well because obviously that's where all the lights and everything are going to come down to and all the wires and everything will get ran up to the the console at the front we have heat shrink wrap and we have heat shrink terminals we have so that's more enough to get the back end wired up the front end or sort of do so yeah best of gear going in her and I think quite rightly so Right, we're going to go to the junction box. And there, I'm get a wee panel in there. The electrical stuff will come down that side. Oh, oh, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, sixteen it is. Actually, sixteen. Maybe for an LED light, but hey ho.
So guys, we've got that job done. What are we going to go on to next? Well, for your MCA inspection, you need one electrical pump and one hand pump. So I'm going to basically work out where I'm actually going to put the hand pump now. Um, the one I'm going to be using is a beautiful Titan Whale Gusher. Now I've had these on several boats. The Barry B's got one, the Rock Hopper had two, now the Lindsay B's going to get one. And what it connects to is a small strum box. Now these go on the bottom of the bulges and as you can see it's got grates in there, it's a little bit raised so the water can get in, crap can't get in and it sucks it right up and out so it saves your uh, pump getting blocked etc. So that'll go right at the bottom of the bulge and then we'll come up underneath the bulkhead but the only thing is the actual pump has to be on the outside of the bulkhead so how do we get the hose from the inside of the bulkhead to the outside of the bulkhead? By using a deck fitting. Lucky for me, this is one of the rock hoppers. So, uh, it does need a clean up as you can see. It's, it's a guy filthy and well used. So I'll give that a wee wire wheel job and get it all nice and tidy ready for going on. But this is ideal. That's the exact size uh, diameter for the hoses. So we'll bolt that to the bulkhead. Hose will go on the back, front hose will come out right up into the hand pump itself and then that's us good to go. So let's go on with that guys. So what side of the boat shall we actually put the hand pump on? That's going to be the next question. Well on the port side we've got all our um, exhaust stuff, so obviously exhaust is very hot. So we kind of have plastic or rubber hoses lying on hot uh, exhaust hoses etc. So that's the port side kind of out the way. So it has to go on the starboard side. Unfortunately for me, this is the working side. However, it's the only place left to put it. And it has to go at the back of the boat because I'm, I'm hoping that she'll sit quite nice on a plane. And even in the harbour, she'll sit with her backside doing a wee bit. Um, that's the idea anyway. Uh, so all the water should be at the back of the boat, so even at the end of a day's work I just have to go back, yeah, a couple of pumps if there's any water straight over the side Saves using power on the electric pump So I think it'll be starboard bound, so we'll have to use I think we'll do the same run as the electric bu uh, bulge pump hose Except we'll use the hand pump first because the hand pump hose is actually thicker So we'll attach the electric a hose to the top of the, the thicker hose so everything's looking all neat and tidy all the way up but, but right up behind the bulkhead. Right boys and girls, that's the hand pump on the bulkhead. Um, it's not in permanently because I have to still skim the uh, bulkhead itself. So it's just kind of in place so we can actually get this fitting. This is the most important bit, is getting the fitting right. But unfortunately for me, daylight's fading and it's fading fast. Um, oh, just points to note, I actually changed the bolts for these long 80 mil millimeter ones, these are 80 millimeter by 6 millimeter to 50 millimeter, 6 millimeter but these have got the allen key heads on it so if anybody takes a like into my pump it'll be harder for them to steal which is always a plus because you can what the magpies are like they can't see anything new, they can they want it all for themselves but they do what to work for it anyway, on that note I'll see you here bright and early tomorrow morning to get uh, the rest of this pump bit finished off. Right guys, enjoy your night, because I'm away to have a beer. All the best now.
Ooh. Morning guys, it's minus Baltic this morning, it's early doors, let's get on with this. Right guys, after a little bit of perseverance with my um, polisher, we got a little bit of something done. By no means perfect, but it'll do the now just for fitment. No way to make it too shiny for the mud pies anyway, if you know what I mean. Right, let's get this fitted guys. Right guys, I've actually drawn a pencil mark where the top of the rib goes. And the deck is another inch above that. And then we're going to have about three layers to five layers of glass, depending on how much uh, matting I've got left uh, on top of that. So we need to make sure that our distance is far enough above the line so we can actually fit that. So it's going to clear the deck, clear everything else. You've got to remember when the deck comes up to there, there is going to be a little lip onto the bulkhead itself from the fiberglass from that too. So by the looks of things we're going to be very close to the pump. I think it's no far off of that actually. So we'll mark it, drill it and fit it. There we are. That's so bone and dark in here. Up there. Hey, it was as if it was made for it. That's definitely going to be a short run. <laughs> 
But oh, it is what it is. At least it's on now. Hi guys! Um, just a wee disclaimer here, I've actually been naughty. Since your last clip, I turned the camera off and I hashed on. And now, I'm glad to see this bad boy's in. It's not in fully, I've still to put the three bolts through the deck plate. They're already drilled. But uh, that was the whole reason I done it off camera, is to see how it was going to play up. Now there is a little bit of discrepancy about height issues and the direction they, where you drill your holes. Um, when I done them on off the bench and got my measurements, I also done everything vertically. And because these gunnels are as deep as they are, you can't get a drill in. So I was having to do all sorts of magnificent stuff and there was a little bit of swearing. <laughs> but we got through uh, the they're at a wee funny angle, but I know f now for the next beams that I put in, just to drill that wee bit extra angle in there instead of a, a vertical. So, let's go get these through bolts in then. Right guys, here we go. This is what we made up in an earlier um, vlog. Just a normal nut on the end, well laid up. It's 14 millimetres in diameter, 8 inches long, and basically a uh, nylock on the other end. Absolutely perfect for what we need it for. So we'll, we'll get them chubbed in. Yeah, it was like it was made to go in there. Oh, look at that. Nice and clean underneath. guys, I think I'm actually going to call it quits there. Uh, it's been a busy old day, lights fading fast and I've got daddy duties today. So I better get on with editing this as well. So um, just for your information, you can look forward to this next week. We're definitely going to get that um, ready to get plumbed in. Um, and then once we get this plumbed in, we'll get the hydraulic tank done over there. Once that's in, we can able to get this bolted down. So, fingers crossed that that all happens in the next week's video. Sorry for the noise, it's absolutely freezing today. So, do the usual guys. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to your channel. 
tick the notification bell and leave a little comment if you wish, if you've got any questions. I do answer them all. Right, until the next video guys, all the best now, have a good weekend. Just that. No, there you go. Oh. Hi. Right. I'm sorry. I have to apologise to you all. I have been naughty while. Yeah. I take two. As well. I really should talk to the camera, shouldn't I? I should be talking to you guys. I'll take two again on that. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's it on. It's not on permanently because I've still got to skim the uh, skin. Take two. <laughs> I'll stop falling, I know. Take two. Right boys and girls, that's the pump in. Um, I've still got, it's not on permanently. I'll, I'll start that again. I'll start that again. Shrink um, joints. Is it joints you call them? I think it's joints you call them. Terminals, there you go. You've no idea what I do for you guys, honestly. <laughs> so, boys and girls, as you can see, I've got three bits of wood here. Now, this is for the back end for the. Um, I don't know what it's for. Oh, aye. <laughs> I'll start that again. <laughs>